by one table. So what are Let's they? start off with this table right here. Bubbles, okay. Directly in front of me. This table. Yes, you come up to get one again. And then... Um... Okay, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum salam, brother Sadiq. MashaAllah, I'm honored to be next to a really amazing family. Uh, brother Jose, you did something amazing. What did you do last year? That is correct. Uh, last year, almost around this, almost around this time, I embraced Islam. I took my shahada. Alhamdulillah. Allah Akbar, mashallah. Right? Uh, you know, that's the best deed. That's the best thing that any person can do. And that was the best day of your life. It was, it was, and I, I will never forget it. It's like uh, I was, I was born again. Like you know, like something else just happened. It was just, it was amazing. It was amazing. Alhamdulillah. And you have a wonderful family over yes, here. Yes, this uh, is my family. Are you, did you have you all also embraced Islam? Yes. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Right? We say Allah all Akbar. praise be to Allah. Allah when Akbar. did you guys convert it to Islam? Uh, March third. Third of March. Oh, okay. So just maybe two months ago. Yes. Alhamdulillah. So let me start really quickly with uh, Brother Jose. You know, there are so many faiths out there, so many disbeliefs out there, right? So oh, many attractions out there. A lot. People don't look into religion to begin with nowadays, right? There are so many distractions. So what made you as an intelligent person uh, look into Islam and Alhamdulillah last year embraced Islam? Well, you know what? Uh, my, my, my journey started with, uh, with, with my kids uh, questioning me, uh, asking me questions about, about God and how, how everything started from the beginning. I personally, I didn't have them. I, I, I didn't know what to tell them. I told them, you know what, I don't know at the moment right now, but uh, let, me, uh, let me look into it. Let me, let me start asking questions myself, you know? And uh, it, it took me a while, you know? I, I, I saw different religions. A lot of them, especially the one that I was raised with, which was, uh, I, was I was Catholic. Uh, my religion didn't make any sense at all because uh, the whole thing about my of, of the religion that that uh, that I was in was that you uh, we used to worship to a lot of people, you know, and that, that's one of the things that I I didn't want to tell my kids that because I knew from my heart I knew that that was that was not right that was not okay that was wrong, you know. Which faith? Uh, when you say your religion, what was that? It was Catholic. It was Catholic. So. And so there are many saints in there, right? Uh, saints uh, just. Worshiping idols, you know, it's pretty much to, you know keep it short. I just a lot of worshiping idols. Mm -hmm. So, what know? kind of questions that you guys were asking your dad that he was not able to answer? Tell us uh, some question. Yeah, go for it, please, Sandra. Yeah. Um, like, why do we have to worship a certain god or a certain saint in order to like receive a type of uh, blessing or reward from them? Alhamdulillah, such yes. an intelligent question. Uh, so, why did you ask that question? Because, um, well, my grandma, she, we, she would take us to church and she would tell us like, oh, make sure you pray, pray so that way you can like um, receive money, receive something, uh, a bless and um, a blessing. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, um, why do we have to worship to this one? Like to so many, there were so many that we had to like uh, worship. Saint so Joseph was, and Saint James and Saint Paul, right? Yes. And so many Saint, 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 Saint. So yeah. suppose if someone asks you the question, you know, mashallah, now you are a Muslim. So suppose if someone asks you the same question now, one of your friends in school, why would you? How would you say to them that you know we should not be worshiping them or taking them as mediators, but only worshiping the one Creator? What would you advise to them? Um, I would tell them like how my dad would like tell me like like Allah he's the one who created us he is able to like give us the blessings like there's no reason for us to worship the saints because um, Allah is like the only our creator he's able to like give us those blessings if he ask we ask for forgiveness for him so Allah is like our, our one God that we would worship. MashaAllah. Yeah. They're so intelligent, right? Uh, <laughs> I want to cry right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, MashaAllah, right? One, one more thing that you can add is, you know, Allah is all knowing, He's all hearing. Why yeah. do we need to go through a you know, second person, third person? He can hear us and He can uh, listen to us and He knows what's in our hearts and minds. So there is no reason to go through any mediator. Not even Jesus, peace be upon him, not even Muhammad, peace be upon him, and definitely not a dead person who is a saint or what not, right? Exactly. Good question and uh, mashallah, good answer that she gave to them. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Um, so your wife, mashallah, right? She also reverted she to also, Islam. She also, so if I can ask you, you can give her the mic. So what was the most interesting thing that you found in Islam that made you, you know, wow, let me look into it? What was that? 
it was really about peace. You know, I seen my husband when he first started. I seen that he changed. He changed a lot. For the good, right? Yes. yes. <laughs> okay, very good, mashallah. Yes. So for me, it was more about finding peace. Alhamdulillah. Yes. <laughs> you know, uh, I always advise this. There's like one person who converts to Islam in a family, then they ask, ask me the advice. You know, my mom is not a Muslim yet, my dad or my you know, spouse, my children. What should I do? How should I convince them? I say to them, now become the best family member, right? Mm -hmm. So when, once they see the transformation within you, automatically they may be thinking, you know what? Maybe there is something special about uh, Islam that had such a profound change in my family member. And I have seen many, many families, by the way, right? They all, with Allah's guidance, they all came to Islam. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So how about yourself? Suppose if someone asks you the question, uh, what's your name? Jocelyn. Jocelyn. Mashallah. So yeah. Jocelyn, if someone asks you the question, one of your friends, that you know you converted to Islam two months ago, why should I look into Islam, right? If your friend asks you that question, what would you say? Um, it's just like, it, it feels like a lot of joy and like, um, up, it, it makes you like more happier, more like, you, you just know what to do and know what to say. A lot of different, it's just simple. It's, it's just simple worship one. Okay, Ruby, wow, wow. What do you have in your hand? An alligator. <laughs> alligator, wow. Do you wear the hijab to school sometimes? Yes. MashaAllah, I'm so proud of her, right? Alhamdulillah. So suppose if your friend asks you the question, you know, Rose, why are you wearing the hijab, that piece of cloth on your head? What would you say to them? I will say, it's because I'm Muslim and because I want to. MashaAllah, yes. Who do you wear it for? I wear it for Allah. Allahu Akbar, right? Allah That's Allah. the first and the most important thing. Anything else you want to say? You know, what is the best thing that you like about Islam? Everything is good, but what do you say the best? The best thing of Islam is how much peace there is, how much we can relax, we can focus. And that makes you feel good, right? That peace and that focus and the discipline, mashallah. I think uh, I want to hear from you, right? What's your name and what grade are you in? My name is Jordan and I'm in fifth grade. Like Michael Jordan? Like that? <laughs> that kind of a Jordan? <laughs> yeah? Alhamdulillah, what sports do you like? I like football, basketball, and uh, baseball. Mashallah, what sport is left? Uh, <laughs> Only hockey is left, I think, right? <laughs> <laughs> if one of your friends approach you, saying that, you know what, I, I see wrong things about Muslims and Islam on the TV and the social media, how would you... Uh, what would you say to that person? Um, I would, what my dad would always say, it's not, you don't have to follow the people, you have to follow the Quran. Very good, very good, mashallah. Then you will give them a copy of the Quran, right? Yeah. Either Spanish or English. Just as I asked Jordan, what advice would you give to those people who may, have, who may not know Islam, they may have fear of Islam, right? What would you say one good advice from you, mashallah? I would say, just take your eyes off the media because the media just portrays Islam as being something that it is not. You know, uh, educate yourselves on what Islam actually is. And, uh, Islam actually, Islam is, is it's, a, it's a submission, a submission to, to, to one God. You know, just educate yourselves, uh, look into it. Which book would you recommend them? The most important book in the whole world? The Quran, the Quran. Do you guys uh, the, agree with that? Yes, the the Quran is actually the Quran. It's it's a it's a book that was that was uh, that came down, you know, and, and it was not for just uh, Muslims. It's 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 for it's, it's a book for humanity. Mashallah, Mashallah, that's very good. Alhamdulillah. So this is an advice to each single person out there, right? Our non-Muslim brothers and sisters out there. Uh, Islam came for all of humanity because Allah is the Lord and the God for the whole creation. And Quran is not only for the Muslims, the Arabs, and the Hispanic or Indian Pakistani. Quran came as a guidance for all of humanity. So we can send you a free copy of the Quran. You can give us a call at 1-800-662-ISLAM or go to gainpeace.com. I do pray, you know, for the whole family. May Allah, especially for the children here, may Allah make you guys righteous, keep you pious, 
keep you guided, keep you strong in Islam. And I do pray that may Allah make each single one of you, each single one of us, scholars of Islam, ambassadors of Islam.